Hey guys, Jalen here, and I'm here to tell you all about our modeling agency. You can get there by going up to your search bar and typing in www.hillfactoryagency.proboards.com. Upon arrival, you must register if you haven't already. Don't worry though, because it's totally free. Once in, there's so much to do. If you don't know who I am already, you can check in and read all about me. You can go and see what kind of work our models have been booking lately. You can even apply for your sim to sign with us. Or you can come and use one of our models for your show, music video, or whatever it is you're doing. There's even a section on the website where you can go and read all about some of my favorite real life models, designers, and photographers. If you're a fan of the show and you were bummed about the cancellation last season for Cycle 2, you can even go to the website and see who made the finals, who won, and see both of their portfolios. You can even go and download the hottest custom content around. You can do all of this and even more, and it's all for free. So go and check it out right now. Well, wait until after Top Model. The website again was www.hillfactoryagency.proboards.com. And now, back to Top Model. All right, first let's talk about Belle. Um, I see potential. She has such a unique face, and that's why I wanted her to be here. I say keep her around. She's got something. Celeste is so gorgeous. Her face is dynamite. She doesn't understand what she has. Her face alone can book a lot of work. This girl could be a star. Uh, she's rough around the edges, but I think that Jalen could polish her up. Felicia's that girl that when you look at her in person, you don't necessarily see a model, but when she takes a picture, you're blown away. You're like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I love it. She stays. Gail. Um, I'm not quite sure what to think about her. We don't know if she has what it takes, but I would like to see more from her. Gemma. Gemma's got a lot of raw potential, and you can see it when she's standing in front of you. Absolutely gorgeous girl. She has this fresh face, but she doesn't know how to work her angle. She needs work. Janae. Janae has a certain spark about her, and I see it in person, but I hate her hair. I don't like her makeover at all. I think that like we, we she should we should chop her hair off or something. This girl is special. Krista. I'm not quite sure what to say about Krista. Because we've given her the spunky makeover. This is something that, you know, should have taken her over the top. And it's like I'm not blown away by by the picture at all. Not either side, before makeovers or after. In person, she's a gorgeous girl. And when, while she's standing in front of us, I'm like, ooh, blown away. But in this photograph, I'm just like, uh. Eh. She gets by vote. I, I say we keep her around. Layla's that girl, and I think that with the proper, with training wheels, we could get her riding for miles. We could, we could get her in here, you know, with the right training. She has my vote. Melissa is gorgeous with her new makeover. She's gorgeous. I want to keep her around. She, she definitely has potential. Morgan. I'm not sure if I want to keep her around or not. Beautiful girl, and the makeover helps to bring that out. Sherry, oh my gosh, I'm blown away. And it's crazy because she's one of those girls that like when you look at in person, you're like, uh, eh. she's not a model. She's just a pretty girl. But like, yet she took this picture and I'm like blown away. I can't even believe that that girl that was standing in front of us today took this picture. Is it even debatable on whether she should stay or not? However, I hate that hairstyle on her. The color is magic, but I do think that we should do something with her hair too. I am very disappointed in Victoria. Now Victoria is the exact opposite of Sherry. She's the girl that you look at and you instantly think, model. But when she gets in front of the camera, you're like, ugh. I think you should keep her around that face. All right, judges, we've reached a decision. Now let's call them back in and give them the news. Welcome back, ladies. So tonight, you can all say that you've experienced your very first judging. But for one of you, the road ends here. I have 12 beautiful ladies standing in front of me but I will only call 11 names. And these 11 names represent the 11 ladies that will continue on and still be in the running towards becoming Veronaville's next top model. The first name that I'm gonna call is the girl who had best picture of the week. She will also have that picture displayed as art 
next week for the entire week in you guys' home. So the first name that I'm going to call Best Picture of the Week is Sherry. Girl, this picture is fierce. Facial expressions, poses, attitude, confidence. You gave it all here. And the message that you tried to convey was understood. But the judges and I, we love the hair color, but we hate the haircut. So somebody's going to be visiting you next week and they're going to fix your hair, okay? <clears throat> the next name that I'm going to call is Felicia. Celeste. Melissa. Morgan. <clears throat> the next name that I'm going to call is Janae. Janae, you're a beautiful girl standing in front of us. But when you get in front of a camera, you have to show that you're not just a pretty girl in person, but that you're pretty on camera too. You have to push the boundaries and over exceed expectations. All right, next week we wanna see better. And the judges behind me hate your makeover too. So next week, somebody will be visiting you too to fix your hair, all right? The next name that I wanna call is Gemma, <clears throat> Belle, I have four beautiful ladies left and only three names. The next thing that I'm going to call, Gail, Layla, Layla, when you're standing in front of us, we're blown away by your beauty. But in a photograph, we're like, uh, she can do better. And we know that you can. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Veronica's next top model. Will Victoria and Krista please step forward? I have two beautiful ladies standing in front of me, but I only have one name that I will call. And the name of the girl that I do call will still be in the running towards becoming Veronaville's next top model. The name of the girl that I do not call must immediately return back to the house, pack her belongings, and go home. So it comes down to the two of you. Victoria, in person, you're stunning. You're so beautiful that it's hard to look at. But in this picture, not only do I not see a model, but I don't even see a pretty girl. Krista, you as well are a very beautiful girl in person and is as well very eye-catching. But your picture this week lacked energy. It lacked luster. You're both models in person, but there's only one of you that the judges and I feel can master modeling in a photograph as well. So who stays? <clears throat> the girl who has all the goods and is gorgeous in person, but fell totally flat this week and didn't even take a pretty picture. Or the girl who also has all the goods and was maybe a little pretty in her picture, but pretty doesn't make you a model. Both of you are models in person, but there's only one of you that the judges and I feel like can master modeling in a photograph as well. Congratulations, Victoria. Carla! <gasps> look at this, look at the picture. That picture is hideous. You don't look like that in person. You're gorgeous. You have to work on being better. You have to study the models around you. Study the girls that were called early this week. Study those girls. Look at what they're doing. Don't imitate it, but take it and make it your own. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Veronica's next top model. Thank you, Krista. Frank? 
New Lush, New Shada. <laughs> Booga Pop. Ooh.